Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, as we continue our um, look at um, a couple of new things that are left for today's event which was a hardware event and we got to face it um, it it's it did what it was supposed to do and we knew it was going to be mostly hardware stuff and it is hardware okay we we, we got it but I wanted to share an um, interesting aspect to this uh, event today where Microsoft didn't really talk about Windows. The only thing we heard was Windows 10 X that was announced, which is a dual screen um, or foldable device operating system. But we haven't heard of anything else. Uh, it would have been, I think, a great occasion today to just say, hey, you know, there's a new version of Windows coming out, uh, 19H2 and here's its name and it's going to be available now or this week or next week and I've noticed in the past few events where Microsoft is definitely talking less and less of Windows more and more of hardware of cloud and of uh, you know dif different things happening around the company with Office and it, I think, because um, some of you have said, have you noticed they don't talk about Windows much? And I think it has to do with the fact that, you know, Windows is less and less of a uh, of something important for Microsoft. It's still important. I mean, it still ranks in billions of dollars, but it's now a small chunk of what Microsoft revenue is. Cloud, Office, all of that is really the driving force of Microsoft. Uh, hardware is kind of interesting you know they're playing around with hardware which is kind of cool I think it's nice that they uh, you know they have the money for it they have the possibilities it's nice that they actually go to that and go in there but at the same time when you uh, think about it you know you're like uh, you're like yeah okay there's uh, there's not a lot of news going around Windows and um, I don't know it's <laughs> kind of uh, kind of weird I think they should have maybe even though it was an hardware event, they, they should have, you know, spent maybe a couple of minutes talking about Windows and what's coming. But uh, they're keeping quiet, and I think it has to do with a lot of changes coming up at Microsoft for sure. The uh, other thing is, you know, lack of news of 19H2. Um, it's very quiet on that front. We know that it's almost there, and, you know, I'm getting a lot of questions of people. It's like, where can I get this, and can I install it now? And, you know, I always say, well, you know, should wait. Um, it's very simple. Getting this is uh, a question of just going to, um, you know, the Windows Insider program. And to do that, you uh, need to uh, go to uh, your uh, Windows updates. And on the left side, on the bottom, you have, you know, in Windows Insider program. You can click there and you can join the program and join it in the um, release preview. And there you will get um, 19H2. And um, stay there until, you know, you officially have the, uh, the build that is the official build they are releasing basically as for but I, I don't recommend this for pretty much no one you know uh, wait wait for it to arrive and, and it's gonna be there there's no uh, image I can't point you to an image there you can download and install this it's uh, I'm not gonna do that because there's no official image of the latest version um, and I think you know we're continuing our future with Windows as we are going to 19h2 now um, insiders are testing 20h1 first version of uh, next year we know that there's going to be that uh, version coming uh, in uh, which will be 20h2 later in the year next year that's where we are pretty much going forward that's the last version we know of of uh, that we have any news that is going to start development and uh, well going forward I mean uh, Windows 10 is a uh, forever operating system I got a few comments from people this week saying well you know when is that gonna end or, or when is it gonna be finished and um, you gotta stop thinking like that this is not Windows 7 it's Windows 10 and Windows 10 is a evolving system it is a different way of thinking it is technically always evolving what you have now is what was finished now but new features and different things are happening and modifications are happening I see a lot of ranting of people saying, well, you know, that is what is making me uh, kind of getting turned off Windows, the fact that all of these updates all the time. So, you know, I, I, I understand in some way, uh, of course, because what you want is a computer that works and, 
you know, I think they should have maybe one version of Windows 10 every, you know, year that you can keep for many years before upgrading. Right now the cycle is 18 months. Maybe they should have a, a different cycle for regular users, you know. Uh, enterprise do have a much bigger cycle, which uh, gives them 36 months. Well, maybe they should have that same cycle for consumers also and uh, let consumers, if they want, stay on one version for as long as that. But the problem is it brings so many different versions of Windows that they have to talk about and they have to update and have to... It's just crazy. So, um, yep, pretty much quiet on the Windows front uh, today in the event. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.